All right, so tonight we're taking you to court for a lesson that we certainly hope will resonate to you. Next time you're on the verge of maybe making a bad decision. Our consumer reporter Chris Kimura shows you why you cannot afford to break the law. All right. Occasionally, the voice of justice Raise your right hand. speaks in the plainest of English. You need to stop driving without a valid driver's license. Do not drive. But most of the time, why can't we resolve the one that's arraignment? We just can't. It's going to be a jail sentence. The law needs some translation. 330, 130 for dispo. It is a life changing experience. Anthony Rickman is a criminal defense attorney who met with us to discuss a taboo the cost of committing a crime in dollars and cents. Most people who are accused of a crime don't understand how much it's going to cost them down the road. This ad council billboard sparked my curiosity. It employs the persuasive power of the purse, warning drunk drivers that they'll blow 10 grand failing a breathalyzer test. It's accurate. It's accurate. It's accurate. Fines of 500 to $1,000, court costs that can tack on another grand, plus extra car insurance for at risk drivers. That's 148% more expensive. Hiring an attorney will cost you another couple grand. It adds up fast, beginning with the moment a police officer puts you in their cruiser and takes you to the county jail. And by the way, your stay at the Hillsborough County Jail isn't free. They're going to charge you about $45 a day. Mr. Rickman. For a reality check, Rickman invited us to traffic court. Everybody ready? For an observer like me. First case up. Courtroom 13 resembles a judicial. I'm adjudicate you guilty. Assembly line. I'm adjudicate you guilty. I'm adjudicate him guilty. I'm adjudicate you guilty. Criminal cases fly by. You understand what you signed? Yes, sir. But each quick verdict. See the bailiff who a finger put you. Each swift sentence. Twelve months probation. Is costing the defendant. It'd be a thousand dollar fine plus court cost. Thousands of dollars. I don't think anyone realized how expensive it is to break the law. It's honestly not worth it. Trixie Cruz is paying up for one regrettable evening. She was out partying. It was a Monday night. I was at the Kennedy. When a police officer spotted her with an open container of alcohol inside a car. Four court appearances and two grand later. Almost 2000 in debt. Her case still isn't settled. How much do you kick yourself looking at that? I punched myself. There's no such thing as a cheap criminal case. Rickman agreed to give us a revealing estimate for three common crimes. First, fights. Simple combat could complicate your finances forever. That one swing can cost you, you know, somewhere about $2,000, if not more. It may cost you $5,000 in lawyer fees. Want to try drugs? The high might drag your bank balance to a new low. On a random drug case, on a, on a felony drug case, you're looking between three dollars and $5,000 in fines and court costs and probation costs when it's all said and done. And that doesn't include lawyer costs. Even stealing from a neighbor's doorstep is a seriously expensive choice. Package, it's potentially a federal offense. So now you're in federal court, which is a whole different story. Uh, so, more expensive? much more expensive. Rickman's represented hundreds of clients over the years. We wondered how many realized the cost of their mistake. Probably none. Hopefully, a lot more now. I know we got a packed courtroom here today. If the possibility of okay. facing Judge uh, Leffler don't drive again isn't okay. enough of a deterrent, I'm adjudicate you guilty. Consider the cost before you cross the line, and take some advice from a defendant like Trixie. She wants you to know two things are very, very real her record and her regret. My advice to them is to take a deep breath and walk away. Don't think about it twice because it's not worth it. You can't afford to break the law. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Hopefully we are scaring you straight by yeah. way of the wall. Oh, that's so. well, What about these legal fees? I mean, yeah. I, I know you can't paint with a broad brush, but how much do, would for for your run of the mill, would a lawyer actually cost you? Well, there are two different ways they can do it. It yeah. can either be by the hour, and you know, sometimes you make jokes about how much a lawyer makes by the hour, right. but then sometimes it's a flat fee. And so you have to be prepared to pay a smaller amount, a couple hundred bucks, to possibly thousands upon thousands of dollars for the entire case. It does add up very, very quickly. And you know, yes. we didn't even cover everything. No. Because oh, sure. if you're on probation, guess who pays for that? You do. Yes. If you're doing community service, guess who pays for that? Yeah. You do. Yeah. So it just keeps adding up and adding up and adding up. Scared straight what, by way of wallet. <laughs> what if you can't pay for the fines or the fees? What do well, you do? Well, there are two avenues there. Some people can be ruled destitute, essentially, that you can't pay for it. Otherwise, they've got a thing called collections. Yeah. And interest. And if you have a and job. It adds up. Yep. They can so, potentially exactly. garnish wages, right? Exactly. They're yeah. going to get that money one way or another. Yeah. So, again, best thing to do? <laughs> 
do the right thing. Exactly. Do you don't right think thing. by not having exactly. it, you're not going to have to pay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That judge is going to say, no, we'll figure out a way for you to pay my salary and the bailiff yeah. and the court reporter. Somebody's got to pay for all of that, and it's yes. going to be criminal. Interesting. Yeah. Well, hopefully, we scared off a few. I should hope so. <laughs> yeah. Thanks yeah. to Judge Leffler for letting us in the courtroom. Absolutely. That was really very, revealing. Very eye-opening, yeah. yeah. for yeah. sure. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Have a good night.